How's it going to today? Back for another vlog. Um, today we are going to be working on my dad's truck. I'm trying to get it done. We only have like, I think like 30 some days to get it. So, yeah, we got to get it going. Um, I've got some brake line, everything, got brake fluid. This is a whole new brake line right here on this. But one of the places that pinched it. So we might have to put a new one on. So I think I might have pinched it. So we're going to put a new brake line on it. Yeah. I've got a big pack. I was like, wait a minute. I have a big pack. Brake line and uh, I think, yeah, I got some right here. So we got the, the copper. I think this actually came with like more fittings. Yeah, it did. Sweet. So we got more fittings and everything. We got to run brake lines all the way to the back and then to the front. And that way all new brakes will each wheel, uh, all the, the brakes will be all new. Ain't gotta worry about the uh, brake lines or anything. We got new drum, uh, new drums. And we got new uh, hardware on it. Now my cousin, he actually put those on because I hate, I hate drum brakes. The devil made them up. <laughs> Anyways, he put them on and he was like, I think I put this on right. If not, it's backwards. So yeah, so um, that work right. Then something's on backwards. Yeah. But we got everything we need. I bought like a little bender which the copper stuff you really don't but it helps and i got my brake line flare tool and stuff like that from harbor freight but we are ready to put brake lines on but i got a question well let's see. all right with this old meg <laughs> that is the question So I got my bag of fittings out. Um, it came in some eBay. I think it was like 20 bucks for a big roll and fittings. But just need to make sure we had this. So we can do that. I'll have to do the, uh, the uh, uh, line for it. But it shouldn't be that bad. Luckily, we can just run it all the way up there. And then all the way to... Now there, and then we should be good. Well, with the rear at least. So, and then I don't have a I don't have a merchy brake uh, on it or anything. And to be honest, I really don't plan on putting a merchy brake on it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used one on any of my vehicles. The last time I used a merchy brake was on my mom. My mom had a Ford Ranger. I used it in my mom's uh, Ford Ranger. 
Forgot that I said it, and it wasn't too strong, but I drove it like that for the rest of that day and everything, and pretty sure we had to put brakes on it because of that. Yeah, so I don't ever set mine. I mean, if I'm working on it or something, I'll just scotch the wheel, but that's really all I do. But, I mean, I don't really park on any hills. Now, parking on a hill would be different, but, again, half of my stuff, if you put the mercy brake on, that crap either is broke or it's stuck in it. Oh, look at that. Looks like it knew what I thought I could, might have, could have done. You can't talk worth a lick today. <laughs> I need to get a little clip for this. I might make one because I'm crafty. <laughs> Put me a Joe Inn fabric, so I make anything. We don't even have Joe Inn's fabric anymore. No, we got Hobby Lobby. We did have Joe Inn's fabric. We used to. Listen, all I'm saying is, if you ever see this truck at a show, make sure to look under it and be like, "Whoa, look at them copper lines!" All right, just just to make you feel good. Yeah, look at look, look at that rear end. Just to make you feel good. Yeah. Just put a lot of work in this thing. All right, I'm gonna run this. That. Might straighten this out and just go from there. Your daughter sounds like a what's one of those when like when you're like firearm or fire what the heck's this called? What are you talking Smoke about? Detector. Oh. Chirp. <laughs> That's what she sounds like right now. Alright, so I got a fuel I'm fuel. I got those already done. I got the uh, brake line ran for the rear. I just gotta put this piece on so we can put it in our block. Everything I think will be good, except for the rear. So we got that done finally. Make sure it was working. Now it's got two reservoirs. I'm hoping one for the back and one for the front. We're hoping. I can feel that one. In. Like, is it leaking? I don't know, it's everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we got that. I'm gonna throw it up. I'm gonna try to at least be a little bit. <laughs> try to bleed the back brakes. <laughs> because when you get back brakes, that's okay, but the front is still busted. But I just wanna see if it's the same reservoir. But if it's the same reservoir, why would you have two caps for You know what I'm saying? That really don't make no sense. Yeah, it, it don't. So, that's got some in it. I don't know what was last time. But, it bleeds it up in front so we can kind of see where it leaks too. This truck just, just a smell, it always takes you back to, you know, certain smells. Mm -hmm. line in the front because ain't that where it was leaking from i think so so there's a bus line in the front but we're getting a pedal and we're holding a pedal um i had to do a couple things back here i tighten some stuff up especially from like where we did the rear end on the table and then put it down i guess it didn't get already tight and i had to fix one of the lines up top going from the uh cylinder down to the i guess block Break block. I don't know what you call it. Splitter. Anyway, six that and everything. She's not leaking now. I checked everything. Uh, when I read the line, I went ahead and 
halfway under, well, under the cab, I went ahead and put a split just in case we blow a brake line or something. I'd rather not have to replace the whole entire thing. We can just, you know, just place it right there and it's not leaking where I put it together. So we're good there. All right, so next day, get ready to pull this sucker out of here. Oh, I had to move a lot of stuff. I got a business like right there. We had to move the bed. Me and Katie ended up like moving the bed. We've got it standing up on the front part of it, like the bed, the front bed, so I can work underneath it. I got a couple rust holes, but it's just like secondary panels and everything. It's not structural or anything like that. But I want to go ahead, get some aluminum or uh, get some sheet metal. Fix it and everything. Shouldn't take maybe a couple hours at that. The underside of the bed, like the floor and stuff, is like immaculate, nothing bad. Just surface rust. This truck really, it really don't have any rust on it. I mean, rust, rust. <clears throat> now, like the, um, the uh, rocker panels, it has a little bit of holes and everything yet, but nothing like major defenders. Now the defenders have little bubbles here, but I have spacers on the on this, and the front needs to be lifted. So I think I'm put the coil spring spacers under it just for now. Um, I'm actually going to take the spacers off because they came from eBay, and I just really don't trust them, and I don't want to like wreck this truck. So I'll probably take them off and the wheels will sink back in. But I like to get the front lifted up so it's kind of level with the back. I'm not going to lower it. Really don't want to lower it. I want it to be kind of a stock style height truck. But I do want to eventually get maybe like 20s and maybe some like Nitos or something like that. Some kind of like a racing style tire. I know that Drango has some really nice ones when we got rid of it. And there wasn't that much. So, might, uh, might end up getting those. Um, but I want a little bit of offset. So, uh, the tires does almost like poke a little bit out. Um, again, it's not really a race truck. But it's not really like, you know, a big lifted truck. that has a lot of stance. Sorry, my finger goes in the way. I need to get a holder. But I just want to make sure that I can keep up with vlogs and everything. And, you know, in life. Before I start spending a lot of money on like equipment. But yeah, so eventually we get new tires and rims. That's gonna be like the very end. Uh, these tires, I literally put these tires, I bought these rims. I bought these rims for Colossus, but I never put them on because these are 15s and Colossus 15s. I was just gonna take the old fan blades off of it. Put these on with the tires because this tire's brand new, but they're dry rod now. But I never did, so I bought these tires so I could put them on here to go on here. And these tires literally has been out the road, so these tires might have like three or four miles. So it's already started today, so like I know it's going to start. If you hear a fan, well, it's like 400 million degrees in here. But it's getting, getting cooler here in old WV. If I can find my dad go, I'll have like... Okay, Dodge Key, Dodge Key, Dodge Key, Dodge Key. It's ridiculous. And now this is the key to this truck. Look at that. Focus. Yeah, but you can't put another key in there because it will not work. So I need to get a new start, uh, key switch anyways. All right, so it's went down. And she smokes quite a bit, but I don't. she does need ran. But let's move it out of here. Let's do this.
All right, and just like that, she's out. Yeah, what do you think, Diesel? Yeah. Just like that, she's out. Uh, I got to put some uh, antifreeze and stuff in. I got it somewhere. I really don't want to put water in it because it's starting to get cold. I'd have to drain it right back out. But make sure you scrap the channel. It's out. It is. I mean, she's not that pretty of a truck or anything, but it means so much to me. I love it. Like, yeah, I love it. But we are going to fix it up here. That's the main thing. Uh, I got my engineered, that's redneck engineered thing is there zip ties and electrical tape and stuff yes now i probably won't wash this very much because i do have a paint can top as a fuel cap but we'll try to wash back here i still gotta put my new uh fuel i mean my new rear end uh, diff cover on everything but that will come soon because i gotta get some uh rear end uh oil and everything but we are going to wash the regular truck because i mean it is absolutely filthy and then yeah, we'll put some antifreeze in it, and we'll drive it around the field. We'll get the whole daggone clamp a bunch in, and we'll just go cruising around the field. Ain't that right? Now, I do have brakes, but they're not the best. Um, again, they are drum brakes, so they might be need a little adjustment and everything. And the front, well, we don't even have front brakes right now. But that's why I want to wash it and stuff, because I do want to get the front brakes going. Well, you know, we was like blasting some like, what, Guns N' Roses? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like this is a truck you, you cruise in and it died. I think, like, my oil light comes on. It's like flashing every now and then. I've got oil, everything. I made sure of that. So, it's like, I don't know. It's on the low side of, like, oil pressure, so I don't know. okay i mean so I, I don't know like i don't know why it's kind of like surging or anything like that i don't remember last time i put plugs and wires in this thing but it probably wasn't that long ago because i think i was like just putting a lot of stuff and i will say i'm a fat guy and my stomach may be testing the steering wheel but it's okay i cruise on that means if i get in the wreck like i won't move very far it's like a fat guy's security device Get me out of here and try to steal my stuff. Like, if I, somebody tries to steal my truck, I'll be like, <gasps> and they can't pull me out. But she seems to be running pretty good. To be honest, like, I dreamed of like just me and Katie just cruising around the field. I know it sounds stupid, but. We are closing down the day. It's been a wonderful 
it's actually Friday. It's been a warm for Friday. I got to just work at the house, do it with the family. I always love doing stuff like that. So every time we move something out of the driveway or out of the garage, it's like we got to move every single vehicle. We even had to move the old cameras. You know, we got to give you some, a uh, little bit of diesel fuel, uh, footage. I only got one. I need, I need another diesel. My next truck will be another one. But hope everybody enjoyed the vlog and everything. Thanks for everybody who's followed the channel and watched it and everything like that. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with vlogs on like Tuesday and Saturdays and stuff like that. But it just depends if I have content or if I got parts waiting. That's the bad thing. Usually like live in West Virginia, there's not a lot. Of, I don't have like a speed shop or you know anything kind of like that that I could go to. I literally couldn't go to a shop right now and like buy a bottle of nitrous or something like that. Everything has to come offline. West Virginia life, you know. Uh, I'm sure there are speed shops, just not in Old Mercer County or anything. Um, but, you know, so I, I tried to plan ahead like, oh, next, you know, you know, tell Kay, like next vlog we're going to do this, this, this. So that's why I have this order or whatever like that. But I'm trying to get some parts together for some builds. Still going to be doing... The go-kart build, we're going to do like a little roadster uh, style and everything. So, I got to change up the whole rear. It's just not like the rear end of this go-kart is not how I want it to be. Literally, the other one isn't either. Um, so, we got to try, we got to change that up. So, I have to build like a whole new rear end for this. But, that's going to be a little project. I like to get it done before Christmas because I think that would be pretty cool in a Christmas But, we break. have plenty of projects and everybody's asking about the... Cozy Coop, I ordered, the motor setup I had did not want to work good. So I ordered um, two new motors. And I ordered two uh, motors, they, they're like, they're they're off of, what was it called, a Jazzy or what are those scooter things? J Jazzy, Jacuzzi, I don't know. J-A-Z-Z-I, or so, I don't know, something like that, I ordered. Um, I had them in my cart sitting there, and, or I might add the my wish list, and like it was like fifty five bucks, and it went to like fifty three, and then fifty, and then they sent an email saying, "Hey, this, you know, do you want to accept this offer of forty six? And I'm like, "Yeah." So I ordered it. It's supposed to be in here today, but it wasn't. So it'll be tomorrow. Luckily, I wasn't needing them. <laughs> Anyways, um, th they got like a gearbox built onto the motor, so we'll just. We got to make new mounts, but once we do that, it should be good. Should be geared, and we don't have to worry about it and everything. So it's already wired up. I just got to make it look neater, but we'll probably run a different battery besides the drill battery because we can make it 12 volt or 24 volt. So it just depends on how we want to run it. Depends on how strong the motor is. Um, but the Cozy Coop should be running hopefully in the next video or two. Um, look for that on TikTok because we always post on TikTok. What's our TikTok? Ain't it like Pink Owl and the Ghost? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's our TikTok. That's terrible. I don't even know. I don't, I don't really know a lot about TikTok. All I know is I just send her a bunch of random stupid TikToks. It's just stupid that I like. <laughs> but anyways, hope everybody enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, by the way, if you've seen the new Hamster Wheel shirt and stuff, that will be in the store very soon. There's a reason why I like the, the, the lettering exists and everything. So if you watch my gaming videos, definitely check those out because I'll be revealing something in those and this kind of go along with it. So, yeah. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, whoa, <laughs> America, baby. Okay. <laughs> that didn't even make, that didn't even make sense.